In some ways, it is worse than doubling down on a disruptive policy. In the years since this body enacted HB 56, the anti immigrant law has touched on more than even its intended targets. Families, including of Alabama born citizens, have separated. Businesses have lost employees and productivity. The state's reputation has suffered from both the law's overall effects and from particular incidents in which we've seen firsthand just how unworkable the law has been. My colleagues and other advocates have stressed on many other occasions over the past year, and uh, as many others will this morning, H-356 has exacted substantial human and economic costs on Alabama. The proposed reforms fail to address these costs. Instead, HB 658 tweaks the current law while retaining its destructive core. The context in which immigration status may be inquired into remain distressingly broad. The law continues to criminalize uh, some of the most basic interactions between individuals in the state, while also ignoring a range of needs from uh, the attorney-client privilege uh, to crime victims who turn to law enforcement in their moments of particular need. And over the past year, a number of your colleagues have acknowledged that 1856 was rushed through, through these chambers. Uh, that they didn't fully consider what was in the original bill, didn't, consider, didn't have the time to think about what it would do, what effect it would have. The current bill is 83 pages long. And uh, last year we saw the unintended consequences that came about from simply pushing a bill through when we didn't necessarily know what it was going to do. You know, it was released, the current bill we have today was released to the public less than a week ago. And I want to urge you today to take the time to review what's actually in there. Review the changes. Review the law as a whole. I want to draw your attention to three publications in particular. Uh, one is by Human Rights Watch, another is by the Center for American Progress, and another is by an economics professor from here in Alabama, at the University of Alabama. They detail, in more detail than anybody can here today, or at least I can here today, the economic and human costs that HB 56 has rendered in the past year. I think if you take a look at these, look at this stack of papers, you'll see that this is a law that simply doesn't work. And in doing so, you might well find what, as my colleague uh, mentioned about Kentucky and what we saw just last week in Mississippi, that laws like HB 56 are not working, that they don't do what they purport to do, and that in fact the best solution is an overall repeal. The reform bill as we know it is simply inadequate.